Hello, it's Patrick here from the GarageBandGuide.com. Welcome to GarageBand Q&A, the video series where you send me your GarageBand flavoured questions and queries, and I do my best to answer them for you. Let's get stuck in. Ross R. Malcolm asks, how can I increase the number of plugins being used on a vocal track? I'm not asking how do I install plugins, I'm asking can I use more than four plugins on a vocal track, and if so, how do I add them? Great question, Ross. Well, you definitely can add more than four plugins, GarageBand just doesn't make it particularly obvious how. First off, head down to the plugins box in your vocals tracks smart controls. It does look like four is the maximum number of plugins that can be added here. There isn't any immediately obvious way for you to add more. However, if you hover your cursor over the bottom edge of the fourth plugin in the list, you'll see a white line appear. Click on that white line and you'll be able to add another plugin. If you want to add more, just repeat the process. You can actually add a total of 15 plugins to your track if you want. I made a quick tip video on this topic a wee while ago. I'll put a link to that down below. Peter Kaiser asked this question in the GarageBand users Facebook group. Can I see all tracks I recorded while I record a new track in GarageBand on iPad? Peter is referring to GarageBand for iOS's insistence that you record audio and touch instruments from their respective interface screens instead of allowing you to record in the tracks view. Unfortunately, the short answer here is no, not really. You can't switch to the tracks view in GarageBand for iOS and record there. If you're using a 12.9 inch iPad Pro model, however, the screen is big enough to display both a touch instrument or audio recorder interface as well as the track view at the same time. There is a workaround that will allow you to record audio directly to tracks view, though you will need a multi-channel audio interface and Apple's USB camera adapter to make it happen. Aussie garage band Adonis Pete Johns has a great video outlining how this hack works if you want to know more. I'll pop a link to that down in the description box below. Yara asked on YouTube, does anyone know how to put a pedal board on only one instrument? I put one on the bass and added drums, but the pedal board is also applying to the drums and every other instrument, not just the bass. Thanks for that, Yara. It honestly sounds like you've added the pedal board plugin to your master track instead of your bass track. If you're unfamiliar with how GarageBand for Max master track works, you can add plugins to it the same way you would any normal track, only anything added will apply to every track in your project. So for example, if I add the pedal board to the master track in this project, you can hear the effects on all of the tracks when I play it back. That's the only reason I can think of that you'll be hearing the pedal board effect on multiple tracks at the same time. So go back and double check your master track. Finally, Edward Scruggs left this question on my quick tip video on how to import movie files into GarageBand for Mac. Will GarageBand allow the import of a movie file that already contains audio? Would it then be possible to edit the audio of that file? Thanks for that, Edward. Yes, and I probably should have covered this in that previous video. When you import a movie file that has audio in it, GarageBand will create a new audio track under the movie track automatically. You can then edit the separate audio track the same way you would any other regions in GarageBand. That'll do it for this episode of GarageBand Q&A. If you have your own GarageBand question you'd like me to answer, you can leave a comment below this video or get in touch 
via Facebook, Twitter or Instagram. I've been Patrick from thegaragebandguide.com and I'll see you next time. Bye for now. <laughs>